afternoon everybody. Uh, today uh, we are advising the launch of Operation Safe Holidays, uh, which actually commenced on last Saturday and we're running through until the 30th of January. Now, much like previous years, uh, what we're looking to do is to make sure that everybody has a, uh, a safe, uh, happy and enjoyable Christmas and New Year period by making sure that everyone is doing the right things on our roads and staying safe whether they're um, staying at home or just moving between family residents or friends residents in the metropolitan area or whether in fact they're heading uh, into regional South Australia for a well-deserved break. This time of year is, is particularly dangerous uh, for people on our roads. Uh, over this 18-day period from around the 17th or 18th of December through until the 3rd of January, over the last five years during that period, 37 lives have been lost on our roads. That same corresponding period, 167 serious injuries have occurred, which means that people have ended up in hospital during Christmas and or New Year's. And in fact, 37 people have never actually made it home while they celebrate Christmas or New Year's, New Year's with their families and loved ones. So when you actually pair this back to how, how critical this is and how important it is for people to do the right things on the roads during this time, on average, a person is hospitalised I'm um, sorry, two people are hospitalised every single day during this 18 day period. So every single day, on average, two people are hospitalised just during this period. And the same thing for people whose lives have been lost. Every two and a half days on average, over the last five years, someone has lost their life between Christmas and New Year's. So it's obviously an unacceptable um, thing for us from a road safety perspective. We just have a think about how um, distressing and how upsetting that will be for you or your family if you end up being one of those people who lose their lives or ends up in hospital during this period. So Operation Safe Holidays will see a large police presence using all of our police resources as you can see uh, demonstrated here today. But what we're also relying upon is the support from the community to do the right thing on our roads. We talk about the Phase 5 every time we talk about road safety. During this period over the last five years, 54% of lives lost have been on regional roads, and oftentimes there is a regional people, not just necessarily people traveling on car roads. So again, we want to reach out, particularly with our recent regional driving campaign, to make sure that it's not just people living in the regions, but it's also people traveling to the regions to take extra care of our roads. If you're out celebrating, it goes without saying these days. Uh, about the dangers uh, of being on our roads uh, 
uh, and especially in regards to these fatal fires. In fact, it's really important that people take responsibility on our roads this time of year. We know that, for example, over 50% of lives lost on our roads have occurred in regional areas over this time of year. We know that it's been a really large uh, 12 to 18 months, a really challenging period. And that's why, after all the, the, the hardship, after all the challenges that we've been through, we're just asking people to do the right thing on our roads. Uh, all of these lives lost, these people are mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, friends. Let's make sure that we survive and drive, that we do the right thing on our roads. SAPOL will be undertaking very targeted uh, campaigns over this period. Uh, they'll be there uh, in attendance right around these targeted problem areas. So if anyone plays up, if anyone does the wrong thing, SAPOL are going to be there. SAPOL are going to be there uh, catching people out. We know that uh, this year alone we've lost uh, 94 lives on our roads compared to 89 at the same time last year. We know that last year uh, was a particularly troublesome time this time of year. We don't have to see this unnecessary loss of life on our roads. We don't have to see these serious injuries and crashes on our roads. We know that this loss of life is completely avoidable. It's preventable. But people have got to do the right thing. People have got to take the initiative. People have got to make sure that they wear their seatbelt. That if you're having a couple of drinks, that you don't get in the car. That you don't drug drive. That you make sure that you stick to the speed limit. And if you are taking these country roads, make sure that you allow yourself plenty of time to do so. So Operation Safe Roads will be out in force. SAPOL will be in attendance and they'll be out and about in targeted areas right across the state. We know, for example, uh, the Adelaide Hills, the Florida Peninsula, we know that uh, traditionally at this time of year, a number of lives lost and serious injuries have occurred. Uh, but we're employing South Australians to do the right thing on our roads. Let's make sure that we all survive the drive. Let's make sure that the only things wrapped this Christmas are our presents, not cars and around trees or stoby pops. Uh, I might leave it there, happy to take any questions for the Assistant Commissioner or myself.
from Safe Holidays is a statewide operation uh, which uh, utilises a combination of specialist policing resources as well as uh, general duties policing uh, people who are out there every single day. So there will be a very strong police presence with a focus on road safety, a focus on not only the metropolitan area with going out and celebrating but also on regional roads where we know that we lose far too many lives every year. Yeah, look, we understand there'll be people who continue to take risks. Um, we, we make sure that we target specific events uh, such as the cricket and New Year's Eve celebrations and um, whether it's uh, hotels or restaurants uh, during uh, peak periods or even at the end of the working day as people are looking to wind down and celebrate before they head off into holidays and into Christmas and New Year's. So again, I guess the message is whilst we focus on those particular times and we know that people are maybe thinking about taking the risk, we're actually out there 24 7 as I said before, any police car can pull you over at any time of day or night. So please just do the right thing and be safe on the road.